Safeguarding children against irreversible decisions, such as gender confirmation procedures, until they attain the requisite level of maturity to make informed choices is paramount. You may also be aware that our government has uh, introduced new policies aimed at supporting Alberta children as they navigate their, do their journey of self-discovery, as well as their parents. Now, first and foremost, I want to emphasize that these policies are, are founded on principles and love and of love and respect for every individual, regardless of their gender identity. And with these policies, which we'll soon be seeking to enshrine into law, our government is committed to ensuring that every Albertan, regardless of gender identity, feels supported and protected. We're committed to safeguarding the rights of transgender individuals, providing them the resources that they need to navigate their lives and succeed as people and as citizens of Alberta. And because one of the most sacred responsibilities that we hold as parents, as teachers, as elected leaders, as community leaders, is to nurture and guide children as they grow into adulthood. It's our duty to create an environment where they feel safe. And as we do that, I believe we have to protect children from making decisions that they are far too young to make and that could prevent them from having children of their own when they do ultimately become adults. And I also genuinely believe that the vast, 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 vast majority of parents love and support their children unconditionally. I do not subscribe to the notion that parents don't have rights, that parents have ill intent, or that parents cannot be trusted with information pertaining to their children. Our government will be moving forward with these policies, and we expect to have broad support as we do. This issue delves into the delicate equilibrium between upholding individual autonomy and shielding vulnerable children. Policies aimed at restricting children's choices regarding self-discovery and expression, while considering how such limitations shape their identities and trajectories, can be viewed as protective measures to avert potential harm to children who might later regret their decisions. The involvement of parents in matters concerning gender identity and expression is crucial, with a focus on prioritizing their rights and responsibilities in guiding their children's development. Government intervention becomes imperative to uphold parental authority and safeguard children from potential adverse effects, while acknowledging the significance of supporting transgender individuals, proponents advocate for policies that place paramount importance on child welfare and parental rights. Striking a delicate balance involves respecting transgender rights and identity while shielding children from the potential risks associated with gender identification procedures.